Brad Smith here with Automation Links. Today, I'm going to be showing you the exact steps to create the perfect onboarding email. And if you do this right, you can get like a 60 to 70% sign up rate from anyone that comes to your website or your funnel just through emails. So emails are not dead, especially if you do them right. And if you add those relationship builders and personalization to them, and also when you send them matters a lot too. So please comment below yes, and I will send you guys the checklist. You'll get this checklist here. And also basically you'll go to our, our blog and you'll fill it out to get the checklist sent to the email right away. Now I set it up like this. You could actually see it in action and see how it works for yourselves. And then you guys can just copy it and use it for your business. And like always, let us know if you need any help setting this stuff up. So what we want to do first is welcome people that take an action. 90% of websites don't even welcome somebody when they fill out a form. So you know those contact forms or newsletter forms on your website. If somebody fills that out, will they get an automated email from you? And most of you watching are probably saying no. And so that's a great way to actually introduce yourself, introduce your business, and get them into your funnel, telling them what you want them to know, and then asking for the sale and the sign up later on. Now, a lot of our businesses are seeing increase in revenue by 300, 400% just by setting up an automated email funnel. And it's not newsletter style, it's all about building better relationships. And I like to say, just like word of mouth referrals, you can set this up exactly like that. All right, so first thing we wanna do is send them the automated email. All mailers look different. Uh, this is what ours look like. looks like. We use the best one, we think it's the best and definitely the easiest to understand and to set up. Um, so as soon as they join the group, as soon as you fill out this form here, you're gonna get this first email to your inbox right away. Um, so then what we wanna do in this email is we wanna introduce ourselves. We wanna tell them what we're all about. Uh, we're, we wanna ask them to reply back and have some sort of conversation back and forth. Uh, that's a good opportunity for you guys to uh, start the relationship. Next thing I suggest is we wanna send an email the next day. So what I'm gonna do is add a one day delay. And this is called my follow-up email. And this is where just in case they didn't take an action on the first day, it's a little reminder. Now, sometimes people forget about you, um, they get sidetracked um, and then they just forget and they never come back. So using this follow-up, you can specifically tell them where they should go next and what they should do next so they didn't forget about you already. So follow-up email. And like I said, you guys will see this in uh, the checklist. All right, so we have that waiting one day, um, the next email going out, follow-up email. Then I recommend waiting till the next week to send them an email about, so what I do is I set it for three days because we don't want to bombard them. And you'll see in the checklist, we want to send three emails within a week. Um, that's your first week. Now I want to set a delay. I don't want to send it to them on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, think about what your clients, think about what you do. Uh, personally, do you send it do you read emails on Saturday and Sunday or are you busy with your family or busy doing things? And then another thing you wanna think about is when they're gonna open that email. Um, I always like to do it around 12, between 12 to one people are on lunch break. And especially if you're in the health and fitness industry, probably 12 o'clock is a good time to send them an email or before dinner or before breakfast, right? So we wanna send another email. This is a value email. This is telling them um, kind of your story. So this is the story email with some value. So you don't wanna just tell them the story of how you got there and about your business. You wanna add some value to that also. So this is what I've been through. This is how I can help. And then this is how you're gonna benefit. So this one's really important um, because now you're really getting into the relationship building. They're getting to know you and uh, just building that stronger relationship. So this one I like, this is the next week. This will be the third one. Now the second week we wanna send it about uh, we want to send it twice. So the first week, three times, second week, twice, and then going forward the third, fourth, fifth week, just one email a week is usually pretty good. So I'm going to do the same delay. I'm going to set it up specifically for the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at a certain time, let's say 12, and let's put the email in. And let's recap real quick. So we have the welcome right away. We have a follow-up the next day to remind them. Um, a couple more days later, it's getting into the next week, but still within the seven week, win seven day window, uh, we're going to tell them our story and how we can help. Uh, then we're going to get into this one right here is actually telling them about testimonials. 
um, telling them about your services. So let's just say this is a testimonials email telling them uh, benefits that people just like them are seeing. So this will be at the beginning of week two. Uh, let's wait two days for this. Let's say it goes out Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. This one they should get Thursday or Friday. And I'm going to skip the delay. I think you guys get the point already. This is the services. Now you're going to recommend uh, what services are best for them. Now remember, these aren't newsletter style emails. I always tell my clients, go write them in Gmail and then copy and paste them into your email marketing. Make them personable. Make it sound like they're, you're sending them an, an email uh, right from your Gmail account. And, they're, and that's just how it's all about relationships. So that's how you build the better relationships. So t recommend some services, tell them your best services, include a couple clients that are seeing great results and what services they use. So we got three the first week, we have two the second week. Now we'll get into the last week. Um, week three, let's, let's just do a six day delay. And now we're gonna ask them for the sale. I mean, they joined your list, they were interested. By now, if they haven't signed up yet, they've gotten some value from you. You've told them about some testimonials. You've recommended a product. Now just tell them to sign up and make sure you include a sign up link in that email. So pay, pay us today. Put the link in, don't make it hard on them. Don't schedule, email, go to the link. I'll send you the invoice. Nobody's gonna do that. Tell them what services you want on the email before. Now send them the link to sign up and we'll see if they sign up. So you'll get a sign up rate of maybe about five or 10% here. So what about the other 80 to 90%? This is the most important. You can actually get those 80 to 90% to sign up someday. A lot of times they're not ready. They can't afford it. They have things going on. But if you continue following up with them with one email a week or one email bi-weekly, they'll never forget about you. So when they are ready to sign up, when they do need your service and when they can afford it, they're going to come back to you. Uh, we just did a survey uh, with one of our clients and we saw that after 24 emails that he sent out to his clients and then he offered them a product, they would pay anything. He could sell them any service, $10, $30, $100, $300. He had that relationship with them. Now he can ask for the sale, recommend the product, and there's much more likely to sign up. So I hope you guys take me up on this. Get the checklist. You'll see the automation in action. It'll go right to your email. And if you need any help, just make sure you send us a message and we will help you guys out. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Are you sick of all the information being thrown at you by all the hype and gurus online? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with AutomationLinks.com. Six days a week, I answer user questions with the exact tips, strategies, and insights we use to grow our business.